This is Twit. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. <laughs> We've been trying to answer Robert's call all hour. Robert, you're the patientest man. Is that even a word? Hey, listen. You and Johnny and Jed are probably way more interesting than anything I have to ask. So no, actually, I it. like your question because um, this is something a lot of people uh, probably would like to know. You're, you're choosing a smartphone right now. You've decided on an Android phone. Right. Um, I'm, I, I use a Windows phone, and um, it's it's starting to fall apart on me, and I, I'm just too geeky. I watch your All About Android show. I, I want to get more into the apps, and I wanted to be able to do more with my phone. So I love Windows, but they're not moving fast enough for me. So um, It's sad, because I do um, think the Windows phone operating system is quite good. Oh, it's gorgeous, and it's yeah. so easy to use, but... But it's, no apps. I'm a tinker. I'm a, I'm a geek and a tinker. Yeah. So I, Android's better for the tinkerer. Absolutely. Um, so I have a choice. Money is not the delimiting factor. Um, and I'm thinking Nexus 5 or Moto X, one, one of the two. And I know you're in love with the Moto X. I mean, the uh, yeah, the Moto yeah, X. Yeah, I like but. the Moto X. So in general, I do prefer a cleaner Android experience. Kim, cover your ears right now. She has an HTC One. <laughs> she has the HTC One, which is a nice, was a very mm -hmm. nice phone. But I have to say, both Samsung and, to a lesser degree, but somewhat of a degree, uh, HTC, over-customize the stuff. They put a lot of their own software on top of it. And so I, one of the nice things, the reason people buy Nexus phones is they're from Google, and they're pure, they really are pure Android. You only get, you don't get any customizations. Now, some customizations are good. The, the reason I, I kind of prefer the Moto X, the Nexus 5 is better in almost every respect. Better camera, better screen. Uh, probably a little bit faster hardware, better hardware. Uh, neither one has a removable battery or room for an SD card slot. So that's a wash on the two phones. But the reason I like the Moto X is it is basically a, a clean Android experience, but with a few little things that do make a difference. So, for instance, the Moto X is the only phone you can say, OK, Google now, listen to the Rolling Stones. And it will it will hear me. It will interpret it, and it will actually, if everything goes right, no, it didn't do it. It's supposed to play the Rolling Stones. <laughs> so about fifty percent of the time, it doesn't work. No, there's a lot of things you can do, and that's touchless operation, which I really like. You can do that on the Nexus, but you have to touch it once. You have to swipe your finger up. Um, do, you, do you think that'll come later on? Do you think? No, it's a hardware like thing Android? because it, it it won't okay. because it requires. Uh, it kills the battery to be listening all the time. So the Moto X has an additional uh, low, 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 low power chip that's doing the listening. It also, uh, while it's lying there, the screen uh, will pulse and get, show you notifications. There's just some nice features. It knows when you're driving. It knows when you're sleeping. It knows when you've been bad or good. So No, no. It knows when you're driving. It knows when you're sleeping. It knows when you're in a meeting. It will hold calls. It will answer calls. The best thing, and and... There are third-party apps that try to do this, but this really does it well. When I'm driving and a text comes in, it will wake up and say, you just got a text from Kim. Would you like me to read it to you? And it will read, and I'll say, yes. It will read me the text, and then it says, would you like to reply? And you say, yes, and you can dictate a message all without touching the phone. So those that are features. needs to be a standard. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, oh, my goodness. It's wonderful. So if there were a lot of other customizations, Samsung-like customizations, I would say, no, don't. But because it's so close to pure, it's very similar to the Nexus 5, but it has those few little things that make a difference. Now, negatives on the Moto X, it's not a great camera. If a camera, if you need a good camera, frankly, the HTC One's better, the Samsung Galaxy S4 is better. Um, the, the Nexus 5 is better, not much, but it's better. The Moto has one of the worst cameras on a high-end Android phone. It's also got kind of a small, lower red screen. The Nexus 5 has a bigger screen, it's a little bit higher quality. So, truth is, I have both. I own both. Both are excellent. What carrier are you on? T-Mobile. Yeah. They have to last me at least two years. Yeah. I well, you know there'll be a Nexus 6. The nice thing about the Nexus 5 is cheap. Yeah. You buy it unlocked, not from T-Mobile, but from Google, and then you put a T-Mobile SIM in it. Right. And so it's unlocked, which means you can travel with it, put another company's SIM in it. It's fine. No problem. Uh, you can get an unlocked Moto X, but it's a little more expensive, I think. It's like 50 bucks more expensive. So, um, I, you know, I think it's very close. I don't think that there's a clear winner. Either one would make you happy. 
if you can wait, there the the Motorola folks say there will be a new Moto uh, X in the summer. But it'll be back up full price near five hundred four. Yeah, probably they did that at, at when they first came out, didn't they? They over over frankly overcharged for it, and they've got the price way down now. So around three or three hundred bucks, I think. Um, I do think that the the improvement they can make is a better camera and a better screen. If they did that, it would be very desirable. Um, can, can I say for all the people that are looking at the Moto X that if you have a .edu account, you can get it for three forty five wow. off contract on the Moto X Maker site. So that's pretty good. MotoMaker dot com. Now Google's selling Motorola to no Lenovo. I don't think that's a bad thing, but um, that might. I who knows? It might change things a little bit. Let me just look what you can get a Nexus 5. By the way, on, on both the uh, Motorola X and the Nexus 5, I would, if if you can afford it, get 32 gigs. Since it doesn't have the capability of adding memory, I think, I think it's, it's... 400 for the Nexus 5 to add the 32 gig. 32 gig I Nexus think. 5 is 400. 16 gig yeah. is 350. So okay. it's roughly the same. They're in the same ballpark. But you would go for, the, go for the bigger size if I can get it. Well, this summer, we I don't even know if there will be a uh, bigger size. I, I would hope that that's what they would change. So, I mean, uh, I mean, for Nexus Five, get the thirty-two. Gig oh yeah, but ran, yeah, get as much storage as you can afford because uh, you can't add storage after the fact. It's only fifty bucks right. more. So I am, you know, I love the Moto X. I do. Although I have to say, the new red Nexus Five is pretty desirable too. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's a tough choice. Um, I don't think you'd go wrong with either one. I think that's those are the differences right there. Okay, detail on that. What's your favorite podcast app for Android? Uh, I use Dog Catcher. D O G G. Okay. Uh, I think it's very good. It logs into your Google account, so it remembers your settings, remembers your podcasts, downloads them. Um, there's a there's a number. In, I think Instacast is another one. There's a number of them, but I use Dogcatcher. Perfect. Hey, Thank thanks for the call. So I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for asking. I think it's a, you know, choosing a phone is so personal now, more even than choosing a computer. You, it, you, it's in your pocket. It's with you all the time. It's something so intimate that I think it's good if you can spend a little time with it. Get to know it, take it to dinner, you know, date, date the phone first if you can before you really commit. Because uh, two years is a long time. You, it is a commitment, isn't it? You are going to be spending a long time with that phone. Be nice to, uh, nice to get to know it. Take it out on a date. Kind of really uh, get to know one another. See how, it, see how it fits. See how it fits your hand, how, how you like the screen, all of that.